what's going on the manosphere is crumbling what did i tell y'all i knew this shit was gonna happen i knew these niggas was gonna start turning on each other it was gonna happen i just fucking knew it was gonna happen because what it is is that you have certain dudes that were co that were co-signing other dudes which is the reason why they have such a large following but you know i was on a live stream the other day and i'm not going to say i'm not going to say what live stream that was because i'm not trying to stir up any controversy but i was on a live stream the other day and i could just tell by the tone by the way the the content creator that was hosting the panel the way that like the his tone of voice and the way that he was talking to another guy who's another big content creator you can just tell that you know in a way that he's kind of fed up with him you can tell that he truly doesn't like him and the reason why I say that because I pick up on these things like you know I'm a very you know I can read energy really good even through the internet like it doesn't have to necessarily be we don't have to be in person I don't have to know you personally in order to read your energy in order to see what you're about I know what everybody is about up here on YouTube I just don't speak on it because you know I don't have anything to prove to anybody but I know what I know and once I start to see things crumbling once I start to seeing once I start to see things unraveling you know I'm just like I say to myself like look I was right all the time I was right this whole time and when some other shit went down I was right about that and I'm just like yo I gotta be psychic I gotta be fucking psychic but what I'm trying to get at is that you could just tell that this dude really don't fuck with him like that. And they're all part of what you would call the manosphere, part of the, you know, the red pill nation, as you would say. Because the only reason why this guy puts up with his shit and he allows him on his panel all the time even though he secretly doesn't like him it's because he feels like the only reason why he has such a large following is because he's co-signing him it's because he's backing him up on his shit it's because you know he gives him credit and he basically hypes him up in his videos call him you know the master teacher and shit like that Oh, he's the master teacher. Oh, he's about this. And he's the elder, this, that, and the third. But little do you know, the master teacher don't really fuck with you like that. That's why he came at you the way he did. That's why he threw shots at you in the fucking chat today. But I peeped that shit. I peeped that shit because he really don't fuck with you like that. And he don't want to step on your toes. Don't come in. I'm doing the video. Thank you. He really <laughs> sorry. He don't he don't want to step on your toes because he knows at the end of the day you have more clout than him and he knows that at the end of the day people ride with him more than they ride with him. If you get the gist of what I'm saying. Cuz I'm really trying not to say no names cuz I'm going to get some shit stirred up if I say some names, but what I'm really trying to get at is that he really don't fuck with him like that. And I feel like he's kind of jealous. He's kind of envious because, you know, what that stream was about. What that stream was about, what they say, how this woman disrespected another male content creator in a male space. What that was about is he's really a simp not the dude that was disrespected but the one that hosts the panel the master teacher he's a simp he's out here caping for these young girls because he wants some of that young poom poom you hear what i'm saying 
he wants some of that young poom poom. So that's why when he was in the chat room and he was going back and forth with such and such, I'ma call him the red pill man. When he was going back and back and forth with the red pill man, he was throwing shots and shit. And he don't allow your ass. He don't allow your ass over there on that woman's handle. It's because he feels like you're trying to mess shit up for him. He feels like he got a shot at getting some young poom poom. So that's what that's all about. You know, he's been a simp all along. But he's been lying to kick it, as you would say it. You know what I'm saying? He's been lying to kick it. So, you got to get the gist of what I'm saying right here. I've been knew the master teacher was a simp all along. I've been knew that he wasn't really about that red pill life. I've been knew that he wasn't really that nigga. So, you know, just to see, you know, it's, it's going to happen. These dudes are going to bump heads. You mark what I'm saying. And I'm not trying to throw that out there. I'm not trying to. You know, throw that out there in the universe, but I see it coming. I see it coming. These dudes are going to bump head because what the master teacher is trying to do is really separate from what the red pill man is trying to do. You get what I'm saying? The master teacher ain't used to being around beautiful young women. He's not used to being, you know, the alpha male, so... Him having this huge platform, which you co-sign him on, you constantly co-sign him, which is the reason why he has such a huge platform, which is the same thing that Rudem said. Rudem said the same thing. He said that the master teacher wouldn't be the master teacher without you co-signing him. But he's been a simp all along, and I smell weak sauce on that nigga from the get-go. I smelt it on him all a fucking long. And right now, the manosphere is crumbling. Y'all said it crumbled before. Y'all said it was, the manosphere was ended before. But nah, you're starting to see that shit descend. Now, that shit is starting to descend. And I'm glad because I'm starting to see people's true colors. Because they're trying to put this shit off as, oh, um, these women are coming into our male space, fucking it up for us dudes and what we're trying to do. Because we got a purpose out here and we're trying to, you know, we're trying to handle shit. And there's, stuff, there's certain things that we're trying to do in the black manosphere. But, you know, all along it had nothing to do with the women, you know. It's, it's truth be told, the master teacher really don't fuck with you like that. And I could tell from the tone of his voice and the way that he be coming at you, he ain't got much respect for you. He ain't got no respect for you. But no, don't let me say because Tiara, Tiara Love don't know what the fuck she's talking about. Tiara Love is just a dodo bird. Tiara Love ain't about shit. That's what y'all put it off as. But, you know, I peep everything. And I see everything. And it don't. I, I ain't got to do too much digging to really see what's going on. I ain't got to do too much digging to see what's really going on because my eyes are always glued to the fucking screen. I always know what's going on in these YouTube streets. Just because I ain't spoke on it. Just because I don't speak on it. Just because y'all niggas think that I'm dumb and that I don't know much. That don't mean shit. I knows everything. And yes, it goes down in the black sector. But that's all I'm going to say. The manosphere is crumbling. And we're seeing it. We're seeing it right now.